Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor, exaltation to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out in the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters following, supporting, taking heed, right, to this true doctrine. All praise and glory is due. What I want to call this, this topic here, this lesson, is mortar and pestle. And down the line, you know why I called it that. Yeah? Mortar and pestle. All right, so what I'm going to start with is that To categorize men, the sons, yeah? There are three types of sons. The sons of Yahweh, who are the Israelites. The sons of men, the other nations. And the sons of the wicked, as Edom, Esau, all right? Okay, so the first scripture I want to bring out is in Isaiah. Now let me start with Psalms, yeah? Let me start with Psalms. Psalms 147. So like I'm a little bit slow today. 147 verse 19. Right? Psalms 147, verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his word, his special word, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay? Those are the sons, the sons of Yahweh, the Israelites. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise be, praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. So that just shows you straight away. There are different nations of people, but there's only a particular nation that the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai, is dealing with. Yes? The sons of Yahweh. Right, the next one is Isaiah. 40, where am I, where am I, 40, verse 17. And it says here, All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. How could something be less than nothing? Huh? Imagine something is nothing, zero, and you're less than zero. Yes? Well, that is the, the other nations. Yes? The sons of men. So, I'm going to go to the wicked now, as you know the wicked. But we have to prove who the wicked, wicked people are. Right? The sons of the wicked. That's Esau. So, I need to go to... Uh, Malachi Malachi 1 verse 4 and he says here whereas Edom saith we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts they shall build but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Call. You see? 
So that's who we're calling the sons of the wicked. The border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord our power have indignation forever. All right, but you could switch it around. I know you brothers know that, but first of all, I thought it was Malachi um, 4 and 1, but it's actually Malachi 1 and 4. But when I went to Malachi um, 4 and 1, go to Malachi again, 4 and 1, so remember it was 1 and 4, and it's the same thing. Behold, for behold, the day cometh that the that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly. Who who is the proud of this world? Is Esau Edom? Right? Don't get don't get it wrong. The other nations, right? They got a lot to pay for. Yes, even our people have a lot to pay for. The two thirds they did wickedly. Other nations. Right? They did weekly. They have things to pay. They have a lot to pay for also. Right? Because the other nations help forward the affliction. Okay? But the main people are the, 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 the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. So they're proud. The other nations are proud also. The two thirds are proud. Right? But there's an order. There's a line how it goes down. Yes? The Israelites, the other nations, and Esau. Yes? Right? From the top to the bottom. Um, let me say again. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, Esau does wickedly, yeah, to the extreme, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord, our power of host, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Neither. Right? Right, so let me go to, to um, the next one I want to go to is in, according to my notes here, uh, Amos. Amos 1, verse 11. And he says there, Thus saith the Lord, our power, for three transgressions of Edom, and, four, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof. So that is in our powers, his mind. Yes? That is just set. There's no turning back from that. Will not, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother, right? Because at the end of the day, it's about Esau. It's about Jacob and Esau. At the end of the day. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, Right, and that's what that's how they're living right now by the sword. This is the kingdom that we are living in right now. And he cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. He kept on going and going. Alright? That's Esau. So let me go to the um perpetually. You see what that means, right? So I went into the blue letter, right? In Amos 1 and 11. All right, let's go look it up. Oh, Salakia, I got my thing turned off. Salakia, I got me, um, um, do not disturb because you can't get into the internet, all right? So basically, it meant. Um, forever, yes, uh, good, I remember that, it remembers, for it means forever, yes, so Esau now, 
They kept on going on. Let me read that part again. And his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. That was Esau. He kept on going on and on. Yes, I'm very, I apologize for that, brothers. I should have remembered that, you know, when you turn off the arm. Um, because, you know, <clears throat> every time you try to do a lesson, the phone rings or a text message comes through or anything, an email comes through. That's what happens. Yes. And you have to start all over again. So, so lucky of that, for that. All right. So that's what it meant. Perpetually. Right. Forever. Keep on going and going. That's what Edom, that's Esau. That's why the Mosai is not going to turn away his punishment. Because they just went overboard. They forwarded it. They had a job to do, but they had to go overboard. Yes? They did tear perpetually. Forever. They kept on going and going. And he kept his wrath forever. All right? Okay. <clears throat> so, and this is the reason why I call this lesson Mortar and Pestle. And I'm going to go into uh, Omadiah. Oh, that's Satan that is, you know. I should have known better again. But let me get it up in the scriptures, yeah? Let me go back. Let me go back, yeah? Let me go back to um, Amadaya, right? So like, yeah. Amadaya. Be patient with me, please, brothers and sisters. Right, Amadaya. Um... One... Verse 12, verse 12 to 14, <clears throat> right? But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither should have he, thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither should have thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Yes? So that means they should have, they sh but thou shouldest not. Right? But they did. Right? But it's, it's three times it's mentioned in third, in the third chapter, in third, um, Amadiah 1 and 12, 13 and 14. Right? Thou shouldest not. Yes? Again in 13, thou shouldest not, right, have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Right? And 14, neither shouldest, shouldest, all right? Thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither should shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. Right? So that's what I'm that's why I call this mortar and pestle. And what is a mortar and pestle? When you get your herbs and your seeds and you make, you're going to do a marinade, you're going to marinate some meat, right? You put all the herbs into that, that mortar, yes? And you, have the and you grind it, you grind it, and you grind it till it comes to a pulp, right? You keep on grinding until it comes down to a liquid. That's all the spices and the herbs. That's what Esau did to us. That's why the Most High is not going to turn back, right? His judgment. Because to what Esau did to us, the sons of the wicked, they kept on grinding and grinding and grinding. It's like a child 
playing, you're playing with a child in a swimming pool or in the water or in the beach or wherever, in the sea, right? And you hold him down under the water, right? Are you playing? And you let them come up after about 20 seconds or take a deep breath again and you dunk them down again. And you get up and the baby who you're playing with or the child, they laugh. Again, again, and you put them down for a couple of seconds, five seconds, six seconds, and you bring them up and they take a deep breath. Again, again. No, not Esau. Esau would have you and dunk you. Hold you down. You're, you're gasping for breath. You want to come up for air and he does not want you to come up for air. He grinds you. That's Esau. He goes overboard. And you're tapping him, you're kicking him. Please let me come up for air. And he's not, he's holding you down. So in spite, he brings you up a little bit for a couple of seconds and he puts you back, he laughs at you and he puts you back down again for longer. And you're gasping more for air. To make you feel that torture and that pain, he brings you back up again. But when he puts you back down, he makes it stay longer. Right? So what he, he grinds, he grinds that wickedness. All right? He grinds that torture. He goes overboard. All right? He furthers that affliction. He furthers that pain. He furthers that wickedness. All right? That's Esau, the sons of the wicked. Other nations helped him too, you know. But I'm talk we are talking specifically because they at the end of the day, they are going to be removed. They're going to be cast off. They're going to be removed altogether. Because the other nations, they're going to have to come back and make it right. Right? They're going to be given back their lands, but they're going to have to follow the laws, touch and commandments, right? But they're not going to be done away with altogether. But Esau, because they had that perpetual hatred, right? That wrath kept on going on, that grinding. Right? They put us in that mud and they kept on grinding and grinding without ceasing and laughed. But you know what? They're going to get back the double. They're going to get back the double. Right? So that's why I named it Mortar and Pestle. All right? But you know what? They're going to drink the cup double. They're going to drink the cup double. All right, so let me go to Amadiah now. Again. All right. 1 and 10. Amadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother. Remember, because it's all about Esau. It's all about Jacob and Esau. Right? They're in rulership now. They're in rulership. But that's going to turn right around. For the violence against thy brother Jacob shall, shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? Because Esau did this to us. All right? They have a lot to pay for. They have a lot to pay for. And the last scripture I want to bring out now is in... um. Revelations, yes? Revelations 18. Oh, so like here, Revelations 18. Verse 6 to 8. All right. Reward her even as she, as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works. So whatever they put upon us, it could be affliction times a thousand. It could be affliction times a million. It's going to be doubled. So it's going to be 2,000. It's going to be 2 million. It's going to be double whatever they're going to get. 
reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she have filled fill her fill to her double okay i got a little more. let me go to jeremiah here let me preset it with jeremiah 25 jeremiah 25 Jeremiah 25. Jeremiah 25. Verse 17. And it says here. Let me start from 16. Right? Now, let me start from 15, and it says, Yahweh's fury against the nations. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, our power of Israel unto me. Take the wine cup of this, this fury at my hand and cause all nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And <clears throat> they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I send among them. Then I then took I the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto them. The Lord, our power, had sent me. Okay? They're going to drink that cup. They're going to drink it. It's going to happen. So back to Revelations 18. And six, verse seven now, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That means they're proud. She proud. Heads up, chin up. She proud. Nothing can't touch her. But hear this now. In verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord our power. Who judgeth her. And that's going to happen. That is this going to happen. Okay, that's going to happen. So do not think that Esau, Edom is going to get away with their punishment. Right? They're not going to get away. Because we are put into that mortar and pestle. We are grounded up without no mercy, without easing up, without ceasing. And we had just to take it. We had to take it. But you know what for that? You went overboard. And the Most High is going to give you double. Alright? According to the scriptures. Not us. Not according to how we think. It's according to what the Most High had set it up. That way. And it's going to go that way. Alright? So that's what the wicked did to us. The sons of the wicked. So that's all I wanted to bring out. I apologize again for the um, not bringing out the um, you know, because I put it on on um airplane airplane mode and um thing, you know, because of the distraction. So lucky for that. But I hope this was um edifying that, that um that you sort of you know you understood what's going to happen to Esau. All right, because they're going to be cut off and they're going to be removed altogether through off the face of the earth. All right, so Shalom, yeah, Yahweh Basham Yahshai Barakatha. Yes, all praise be to you, Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Shalom.